What's up guys, Bellamy Prime here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys exactly why Archage Unchained is in the perfect state for anyone wanting to try the game or return to the game and enjoy it once again. Now having returned to the game myself a little over a week ago now due to having a little bit of extra free time if you will um, because of certain uh, global events we shall call them. I've been delighted to see that there's been a lot of positive changes made to the game already with what looks like a lot more coming in the near future. And with Gamigo's recent event over the weekend allowing people to try the game for free completely before purchasing it, the future of Arcage Unchained is looking up. So what is it exactly that makes me think Arcage is in the best state it probably could be in recent times for you to try the game out or return to the game and give it another crack if you already played the Arcage Unchained release? Well, there are a number of things. Um, obviously, the things that caused people to stop playing the game in the first place, a lot of them have been rectified. There were a lot of problems, we've all heard about it before, if you played the game you know what they were. A lot of them have been fixed and things like the Arc Pass are in a great state, I thoroughly enjoy doing the Arc Pass now. Their weekly missions, it's great, I love it. But the main reason that makes Arc Age great at the moment for new and returning players is the amount of events that Gamigo are putting on for the community. On top of the usual events that get put on, you know, every year on Arc Age, things like the Lantern event, which is live right now. Recently, they, they had the Halloween event. I missed that, unfortunately. But along with those regular events that happen, they've been putting on a lot of special, unique events, things that we haven't seen before in Arc Age. Recently, we had an Easter Bunny event that probably came straight from KR. It's a very very simple event just to get you some buffs it's nothing too special probably don't have to feel you know like you need to do it if you don't want to do it it's it's not the greatest event but you know it's buffs people like buffs but there are two standout events that have happened recently one that we're pretty familiar with which is great i hope they keep doing it and that was a double xp double loot drop double honor double everything weekend Hopefully they continue to do that. That was to encourage people to stay home, stay safe over a recent weekend. Uh, in fact, it was the weekend right before I returned. So that was good timing for me. I have reason to believe that they're going to continue doing those um, every couple or so weekends in the future. I hope that's the case. But there is one main event that they put on um, in the last week or so that's been really, really great for returning players and new players alike. And it is quite literally a catch-up mechanic. It is a an event that they put into the game that essentially speeds up early leveling, uh, sorry, early gearing, I should say, and leveling of your Hiram, whatever it is you're you're working on gear-wise, doesn't not necessarily just Hiram, goes for everything, you know, your jewelry, the new necklace, your library gear, whatever gear you're working on, if it's synthesizable, essentially the way it works is the lower the tier your gear is, the cheaper it is for you to synthesize it compared to higher tiers. And it's really just a huge gold saver and an easy way for people who are a little bit behind, like I was, to catch up in gear. In fact, in the last week, I returned at 6.8k gear score and I'm already 9.5k in the last like five or six days. It's a ridiculous amount of gear score increase for a short period of time, and it's all because of this event. Essentially, if you want me to explain it in a bit better detail, if you have a tier one hero piece, it costs 50% less for you to infuse it. If you have a tier tier two hero piece, it costs you 50% less to infuse it. If you have a tier three piece, it'll cost you 25% less to infuse it. If you have a tier four piece, it will cost you 10% less to infuse it. So basically, the lower the tier your gear is the more gold you're saving on infusing it and it is literally a catch-up mechanic allowing you to catch up to the people who are already in tier 3 tier 4 gear and because of this event i've plowed through all of my gear i went from completely tier 1 gear in about five days to mostly tier 3 armor um and i've saved a ton of gold on infusing all of that and it's just a great all-round event for someone who's looking to return to the game i highly suggest that if you're thinking about returning to the game that you do not miss this event. And just so this video doesn't create any kind of confusion, it's not a 50%, 25%, 10% less reduction on your synthesis. Always, you have to be standing in your respective hero hall next to this little uh, fairy bitch here so you can uh, receive those cost reductions on all of your synthesizing. But that pretty much covers the recent events that have been happening in-game in Arc Age. Some of them are just your standard events that we get, usually in Arc Age. On top of that, we have these new special events that Gamigo have been bringing to us which are super fun super exciting and super super valuable do not miss out start up the game right now and play with me it'll be fun as hell but there are other events that have happened obviously we've had the uh, free weekend over these last couple days that hopefully will introduce a lot of new players into the fray for all of the servers maybe you know kick up the player base a little bit that's always great it's good to know that Gamigo are trying their best to encourage people to try the game 
On top of that, they just recently made an event, which I found out about too late, unfortunately, but it was a streamer event that they um, they did over the weekend as well while people were trying out the game, presumably to give people streams to watch and tune into while they were uh, trying out the game while it was free, and they basically would give rewards to the streamers um, and in the form of uh, hosting them on their channel. Um, I didn't know about this until it was already too late, so I couldn't actually cue myself into this competition in any way shape or form despite the fact that I was streaming uh, over the whole weekend and the week leading up to it just by chance. I didn't, no one told me about the event until it was already too late and I didn't put my name in the bucket so that's unfortunate but hey at least I'm here on Twitch streaming having a good time doing my part for the community so that's been fun and I'm glad to see that Gamigo are putting in the effort to do events like that for streamers to encourage people to stream more because upon returning uh, a little over a week ago now when I decided to stream and be like hey I'm thinking about playing the game again look at the patch notes with me that I missed since I've been gone um, I was pretty much the only stream on Twitch and since then I'm pretty much the only stream that's been getting more than 50 people watching me at any one time uh, with the exception of you know a couple decent streams here or there so it's been nice, it's been fun, it's really encouraging that despite the, the sad situation on Twitch, people have been willing to watch me, and I've been having a lot of fun streaming. But it's mostly just encouraging knowing that Gamigo are willing to um, make these kind of events for the community to better the game and, you know, make for a more prosperous community in the future, hopefully. And holy crap, upon recording that last little bit, I just completely forgot that I didn't mention an entire event that's been going on, which is like the craziest event that's ever existed in Arc Ages history. It's literally an event where you go to the mailbox and you every hour you get this rock and scroll reward and you can use the scroll to upgrade a rock that you get from the marketplace for 50 Gilder Stars. It starts at rank 1, you can take it all the way to rank 12. Um, depending on where the which rewards you want, you stop at a certain rank. If you take it all the way to rank 12 you can trade it for a bunch of crazy shit you can basically get anywhere from like 20 to 140 like serendipity stones and anyone that knows arc age knows that that's an insane amount of serendipity stones and really good for fixing all of your gear like if you have incorrect stats on any piece you can use a serendipity stone to roll that hopefully into a good stat and if you get a decent amount of serendipity stones this can be an incredibly powerful way to guarantee stats on gear eliminating a lot of rng or at least helping with the rng aspects of the game hoping that you get the right stats and on top of that you can also get with this same event a new item called a grand armor type conversion scroll which is essentially what it sounds like it's an arm it's an armor scroll that allows you to re-roll any type of armor into a different type of armor so if i take my cloth armor for example that has intelligence resilience and received melee damage on it and i use one of these scrolls i can change it to a leather piece of the exact same grade with the exact same stats and then change to a leather mage or I can change the cloth armor into a leather armor and then just re-roll the strength and then I will have a strength resilience received melee damage reduction piece and I can just re-roll melee all I have to do is get new weapons so if you you know started gearing a character and you realized you hated cloth and you wanted to play something else or you didn't like plate and you want to play something else you can do that you keep all your stats and you can play your class in a completely different armor set if you want to if you decided that you hate mage and you want to try out melee because you you're sick of all these melee one-shotting you and shit, re-roll the melee. It's super easy to do. All you have to do is get some conversion scrolls off the Ocran House or off the event if you want, and then use all these free serendipity stones you get to basically guarantee that you get all of the right stats you want on the on the armor piece you go for. It's incredibly overpowered, it's really, really great, and it's going to be in the game for a while. So you don't have to t play right now to get this. You can, you know, start in a week and still get all of the rewards from this event um, or use the armor scrolls as well. So very cool scrolls, very cool for people who want to re-roll, try different classes or fix their armor. Maybe they didn't like the armor choice they went with in the beginning. It's just a very cool item and I'm glad it's there because it's very uh, returning player friendly. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the events that are currently happening in Arcade Unchained it's very exciting hopefully i'm not forgetting any other ones there's so many happening apparently it's easy for me to forget the most important event that's happening right now other than probably the synthesis event but i digress other than just events there's a lot of actual imp exciting things coming to arcade on chain in the near future in terms of just patches and updates expansions and that kind of stuff we're getting the garden update very soon which introduces a new tier of hero a new a bunch of zones new content new dungeons different stuff like that and on top of that we're getting a reduction in the amount of dailies we have to do in terms of hero dailies 
in the form of they're being turned into weeklies as far as I understand. So that's very exciting. That'll be great. Only having to do my hero dailies weekly and being able to call them weeklies instead of dailies will be a great thing to this game and will free up some a little bit of time for me to grind something else or do something else, PvP somewhere else, play somewhere else, maybe make some more videos, whatever I would like to do. It's a great thing and I'm excited for it and you should be too. And this may not be super relevant because it's probably going to happen a little while in the future for us, but we just got an announcement from KR that they're introducing a new skill tree to the game, which is some kind of close range AoE gunslinger style close range uh, ranged uh, um, like gun class right um, I'll put a little bit of a, it up on screen it's like really early stuff but it looks exciting and who knows maybe it'll be a range class that I can play with 200 plus ping for once but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I do hope you'll consider coming back and playing the game once again don't forget to join my discord community there's a link in the description below if you have any questions about the game the future me whatever it is you might need um, if you don't catch me on twitch feel free to leave a comment on the youtube video itself or join my discord and ask a question over there you may get an answer from me you may get an answer from someone else in the discord it's all very useful i try to answer everything i can myself and i will hopefully see you guys in arcade unchained cheers